According to reports, as part of its crypto regulatory reform, Indonesia will establish a crypto exchange in 2023. The platform will be launched prior to the transition of regulatory authorities from commodities to securities. They did Nordiato Moko, the head of Indonesia's Commodity Futures Trading Regulatory Agency, stated on January 4th that a crypto exchange would be established this year. The move is part of a larger financial reform initiative that will be launched in December 2022. According to the reform, the Financial Services Authority will take over crypto oversight from Bapipiti, a commodities-focused agency, in the next two years. Hackers began the year with another exploit, stealing several million dollars from a whale who was holding large amounts of the native token of the decentralized finance protocol, GMX. On January 3rd, several community members noticed suspicious GMX token movements. Following that, security firms Certix and PeckShield identified the transactions as an exploit that siphoned off $3.4 million in GMX tokens from a GMX whale. The hackers gained control of 82,519 GMX tokens and exchanged them for 2,627 Ether, according to data analysis platform Look On Chain. The attackers then used the HOP protocol and across protocol to cross chain the assets to the Ethereum network. The token's value dropped to $38 during the hack before quickly recovering. The token is currently trading at around $41 at the time of writing. The Israel Securities Authority proposes amending existing securities regulations to include digital assets under the authority's supervision in order to clarify their legal status. The proposed changes would classify digital assets as financial instruments under Israeli law, defining them as virtual representations of value used for investment that can be moved using a distributed ledger. Most crypto could potentially be treated as financial investments supervised by the ISA. According to the ISA, its efforts to clarify the legal status of digital assets under existing securities regulations are intended to protect investors while allowing for the benefits of cryptocurrency. The ISA noted that while current securities law can regulate some digital asset activities, they can be difficult to interpret and apply as written. We will update you about the following news in the upcoming segment. Shiba Inu themed bomb tokens are yielding nearly 1000% for Solana liquidity providers. Coin deal scammers nailed by SEC in $45 million fraud case. NFT sales in 2022 nearly matched the 2021 boom, despite market crash. Stay tuned for more updates.